Good day YouTube. It's May 1st, 2023 and uh, this is uh, the last video that's going to happen with this John Deere LA-135, at least as far as I know. Um, so the situation with the machine is I was thinking of doing a complete cosmetic restoration on it and uh, then probably either sell it for premium money or even toyed with the idea of hanging on to it for you know doing mowing for people and such i don't know why i don't have the time to do it but anyway um as with all of the other machines that i have rehabbed over the winter um everything has sold quickly whether i advertise them or not and even one of them um sold before i ever got to it um, I, we might even done a will it run video. I ordered some parts and carburetor and filters and that kind of thing for it. And those parts arrived and someone wanted it. Um, and I said, well, I've got one, but you know, if you're mechanically inclined, I got the parts to, you know, make it great. And they bought it. So I don't have anything to sell. I had a friend, uh, message me here a couple days ago. Um, they're needing a, a riding mower of some sort. I said, well... All I really have is this John Deere, and I'm not quite done with it, and I wasn't sure I was going to sell it, but here's the deal. We're in the middle of a remodel on our house. We're actually displaced from our house for the last week and a half, um, getting a complete plumbing redo and a brand new bathroom. Um, I mean, gutted the bathroom to the studs and started over. We rearranged it and everything. Because we were doing the plumbing anyway, so, um, and quite honestly, from our original budget numbers, we were budgeting to where we are today, um, it has tripled in price, and, uh, I retired at 58 years old, way ahead of pensions and social security and stuff like that, was relying on savings to get us through, and we kind of plowed through that, so. Um, I you can use the money, so um, I met, threw out a number on this machine, and they want to come have a look at it. But it's not quite ready to go. Let me show you what it's doing, um, and what I'm going to do is fire it up. I'm going to let the clutch out, and I want you to listen for the noise that it makes. Okay. Idler bearings, idler pulley bearings uh, that is sits under the body between the deck and the body. Um, there's two of them there, and basically when you uh, let the clutch out, it lets that idler pulley come out and tension the belt. So these are what the new ones look like, and the project for today is to change those out. And that'll make that noise go away because transaxle is very smooth and quiet and strong and all that. So let's kick this thing in the air. I'll show you what we're working with today. I'll drop the deck all the way to the bottom. Those are just very nice. I kind of like the deers. And uh, let's see if I can get you a close-up. So there they are in all their glory and dirt and such. So we got to get in here and take those nuts off. Hopefully they're not hard to get to from the top side. And get those replaced. So it's going to be impossible to video this with any accuracy. Um while we do it but i can probably walk you through it but you see what we've got ahead of us here okay all right that's as good a view as you're gonna get i think those are 9 16 nuts that's what i grabbed for a socket 
So, am I right? No. Let's try five eighths. Maybe. Maybe. Five eighths. Thought they were nine sixteen. I don't like the fit. Going for a 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter. Uh, grabbed a 14 and a 15. Let's see what we got. 14 it is. Okay. If I had a camera person, that wouldn't have taken that long. We don't. This is tight. All right, let me fiddle on my own. It's taking a minute. All right, I went ahead and dropped the deck down so I could get an impact in there. Hopefully I can. Got a shorter socket. Hope it fits. Let's find out one at a time here. All right, shorter socket's not going to work because the bolt's too long. That did work. That did work. Okay, so uh, we're going to lock the brake to take the tension off the belt. I got enough arm strength. And the pulley fell out. Look at that. Oh, it's, whoo, it's bad. It's real bad. She no wonder if she was yelling. No wonder she was yelling. She junk. All right. Getting the new one out of its package. Oh, nice. Can't believe they get that much miles out of the plastic pulley, though. You know what I mean? Well, let's put her back. Okay. It's a braille method. Can't get my head in there. Two-handed braille method. Wonder. How am I doing? 
getting there. Feels like it. Braille method complete. Three ugly duggers. Okay. That's that one. That's the little guy. Now for the other one. Uh oh. Come on. Get this. Get this deck out of my way. Mm -hmm. This deck is just a little in my way. We see how bad this one was. Oh, this one wasn't that bad. So that noise was coming from one pulley because that one's not bad. But we're not putting it back. Let me know in the comments if you'd save one of those. I mean, you can get these things so quickly and they're not that expensive. Would you save that one that's not so bad? On the shelf and never use it. My thing is, I'd put it on the shelf and I'd never know I had it. So there's a couple reasons not to save it. Okay. Braille method again. Fell over. Okay, I'm putting it on the belt first, and now I'm looking for the stud. Here, there we go. Braille method for the win, that's twice. I don't know what you could possibly see, but you get the gist anyway. One pulley. Yeah. Two pulley. Got them back in there. Alright. Let me slide this deck back in place, and then we'll do a test run on it. All right, deck's back on. We'll put her down on the ground. My dog, probably, uh, I mentioned earlier, we're displaced from our house. We're actually living in our RVs uh, here at the barn. <laughs> uh, we have to keep our dogs separated because the two girls bite. 
and uh, my wife is walking the other two dogs and my autumn bear's like hmm so she might bark but let's see if this thing makes noise hopefully it doesn't we found that noisy bearing so hopefully it's happy once again it's when we let the clutch out good because that finishes this up um it, it could use a cosmetic restoration i'll probably there's a little bit of rust there on the deck i'm going to run through this thing just kind of clean it up just kind of detail it um for an hour or so and that's all she's going to get um kind of priced accordingly but once again um i kind of need the cash so we're going to sell this one off remember i got the other one out there still that it uh its deck is way better than this. If you haven't seen the videos on this, I think I got a playlist for it. The LA-135 John Deere. And uh, we went through the deck and we went through the you know, deck completely. It was trashed. Um, more than trashed. And then we, you know, give this thing a proper tune-up and full service and all that stuff. And now we've made the uh, drive system just as quiet as can be. This thing is in fantastic condition physically, mechanically, really ready to go. Um, i kind of wish i was hanging on to it but i'm not um passing it along um but i feel real good about this one especially you know selling to a friend you know um i'd sell it to uh friends or relatives there we go all right guys thanks for watching i do appreciate the comments i sat down for breakfast this morning and uh went through the comments and maybe i was a couple days behind but leave me comments on this a video on other videos or just tell me what you're working on or whatever i'm really look forward to reading those comments and i'll catch you tomorrow morning give me a thumbs up please on the way out the thumbs up helps these videos get seen i do these absolutely for free i don't do the patreon thing i don't ask for anything but a thumbs up doesn't cost you anything but it helps these videos get suggested to other viewers and uh that's it uh, pays for me to do this you know what i mean Thanks, guys. Catch you next video.